Hey, I'm Virgo and this is Psychedelic Actualization. On this channel we talk about topics like self-realization, self-actualization and working with psychedelics to live a more authentic and fulfilling life. So if you're interested in these kinds of topics, subscribe to the channel. So today I want to talk about the topic of the universe is a reflection of your inner state of being. <sighs> it's beautiful because we have more power over our perception of reality and of reality itself than we think we do. Because if the universe is a reflection of our inner state of being and we have kind of the freedom to decide how our inner state of being looks like, we have the freedom to create our reality but it's not so easy you know because life happens and things and events and stuff just happens in our life and we perceive it as a way as it happens to us for example we get sick I got sick in the last couple of weeks and it, it seems like it's not a reflection of my inner state of being or there's a lack of money in your life and you just you just can't believe that it's your inner state of being that's limiting you from receiving more money into your life and it's really tricky because this is like the the negative downward spiral that we're going into because these belief systems were set in place long before we were even kind of conscious and we just accumulated them and now we kind of live with them and also kind of hold on to them so if we really really believe that it's not possible for us to to enjoy this perception of us being sick or of us not making the money or receiving the money in a way that we prefer to then the universe will respond to that vibration that we're putting out and it's just this the spiral downwards because we're kind of proving to ourselves the limiting belief and then of course the universe will reflect this limiting belief as a reality in our life back to us but if we can really dig deep that's why this contemplation and that's also why psychedelics are so valuable to look deep within yourself to your limiting beliefs and to your beliefs about your perception of reality and how reality works if we can like throw it apart and look at it piece by piece and and kind of twist and change our interpretations about things we can be in a vibration that puts out a vibrational resonance that we would prefer and the universe would reflect that back in a sense of trust that is important to to do that of trusting the universe and also of selflessness to do that so we think we we kind of need the money for our survival but we don't think in a way of how can I put out the value for other people to receive that kind of thing in my life? So it's just a flow of giving and receiving and also of yeah, being in our own vibration that we choose to live in. And that will reflect itself back. And also psychedelics reveal that wonderfully. I mean, we've all seen these these people experiencing psychedelics and they have a bad trip they have a bad time maybe you've experienced this i've definitely experienced it myself and especially those bad trips reflect for myself my inner deepest limiting beliefs they just come to the surface and and when i cannot change them it's really this extremely obvious downward spiral of of like yeah this negative loop you know no matter what the topic is if it's your feeling of self-love if it's regarding money if it's a fear of death 
It's just, it brings it to the surface and it reflects it back. It makes this reflection of the universe way, way, way more obvious. So just a little reminder for you guys that the universe and reality is a reflection of ourselves and of our inner state of being and we have way more power than we think we do over reality when we just like carefully and peacefully observe what we think happens to us and what we're not creating and then kind of observe that identify it and sit with it and see what doesn't feel good within yourself about it and how can you change your vibration to get more into alignment of the universal flow of consciousness and divine love. So just a little reminder. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this stuff. Subscribe to my Instagram, Facebook group. You can join there and yeah, just if you want to be a, a part of this amazing tribe of like-minded people, follow, follow me along on this journey of living an authentic and fulfilling life through the means of psychedelics, sometimes. <laughs> but also spiritual practice like this one. Nashaya, blessings, hallelujah, namaste. I will see you in the next one.